As he cast his vote in Paris, François Fillon knew he had every chance of winning, but what he could not have predicted was just how big his victory would be. As the results came in, it was a landslide for the 62-year-old former prime minister. La victoire me revient. I have won once more, and it is a victory that has been built on convictions. For three years I've been making my way while listening to the French people, with my agenda, with my values, and little by little I felt this wave that defied all preconceived narratives. It was a huge achievement for Fillon, who for months had trailed behind his right-wing rivals in the primary contest. He wasn't even expected to get into the top two. Then a shock win in the first round of voting changed everything. Juppé, who had been the favourite, was left playing catch-up. The 71-year-old mayor of Bordeaux was forced to concede defeat. I end this campaign as I started it, as someone who never compromised on their beliefs. Fillon is promising radical economic reforms to fix France's high unemployment rate. He takes a hard line on immigration and Islam. He had dismissed Juppé's praise of France's multiculturalism, saying France's identity must be rooted above all in French culture and values. During the day across France, people had turned out in large numbers to vote. Because France's ruling socialists are divided, it's very likely that in next year's presidential elections, it will be a contest between the Conservative candidate and the far-right leader, Marine Le Pen. And that is something that is on many voters' minds. I am worried because I am totally convinced that Marine Le Pen is going to be in the second round and she will definitely face a politician from a traditional party. We need to be careful, very careful. We need to think about what's going to happen now. After Britain's Brexit vote and Donald Trump's victory in the United States, the National Front leader is hoping to ride a populist wave in France. She has positioned herself as the anti-elite candidate and is likely to portray Fillon as a symbol of the French political establishment. Fillon says he represents change and can beat Le Pen. It will be up to French voters next year, but there's no doubt after his primary vote, Fillon's confidence will be running high. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.